Hey y'all, today we're gonna be talking cherries. Aren't these so pretty? I was just saying that. So first thing, of course, we're gonna actually be taking the stems off. So my normal prep is, as I've talked about, and you'll hear me talk about pretty much all the time, you do one thing at a time first. I'm not gonna do this whole bowl. I'm just gonna do a few. So I took the stems off first. Now I'm gonna take a smaller knife, right? I like this size knife. I'm gonna cut through the middle. I will have, I run into the pit. You see, it doesn't, doesn't go all the way in. You actually see that I kind of roll the fruit and just keep the knife stationary. It makes my life easier. Then I twist the super little, pull it out. It clings a little. You pull them apart. And then I'm gonna take, use my finger to just pull the pit out of the other side. And so now I have cherry halves. You can leave them like that. I'm down with that, that's okay. Um, you know, no recipe is gonna be hurt by keeping your cherries in sort of bigger pieces. But you can also take them into little bit smaller pieces too. And I'm gonna show you. So now all the pits are out, I'm gonna turn them all over to make it easier for me to cut. And then I can just do it like that and even smaller still if I want. That's maybe a little bit smaller than you really need to, so. This is totally up to you. This is absolutely your call. None of my recipes um, or the recipes that we're gonna be giving to you guys are gonna have any kind of you know, issue if you keep the pieces a little bit bigger. 